How's it going everyone? It's David here and I made it back here to Knobles, one of my favorite traditional amusement parks. Oh man, it's so great to be back here. I'm so excited to do all these classic amusement rides and see all the sights and sounds. Oh man, I really love this place so much. It's gonna be a really great day. Uh, gonna see uh, how the park is uh, doing here in 2022, see what's new, see what's happening. And uh, overall, uh, let's try to have some fun. tell I'm in the station for the Phoenix and already had a couple rides on it this morning and Phoenix really is fantastic great amount of air time I will say though it could just be me it's running just a little bit rough and when I mean rough it's rough by Phoenix standards it's still smoother than most wooden coasters uh, but yeah I did a front row and a back row ride and do the back row again and uh, yeah it's gonna be a good time Hello, Earthlings. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's closed. Here's the all new Tornado Ride, finally open. I think it looks really nice. I like the uh, slanted fence. And it looks like the destroyed operator booth. If you're not familiar, this is the same ride model as the Howler at Idlewild. I'll tell you what, I feel like I can handle most rides that I go on, but the tornado here at Knobles just uh, might have been my limit. Uh, but there was like almost no friction when you are spinning on that. And man, that really did me in. <laughs> I haven't felt like that on a ride in a very, very long time. So if you're a little cautious about spinny rides, uh, beware of the tornado. The Flying Turns is finally back open and they made some new modifications. It used to be on this last turn, it used to be like an upward helix and then it would come here into the final brakes. But there was uh, chances of valleying. So now it is a flat turn and it now goes into this uh, little lift, which is uh, all this is brand new. And uh, I will say after riding Flying Turns, it's running just as good as ever. Very unique and a lot of fun.
Just rode the Flyers, and that was snaptastic. Uh, definitely the best flying scooters you can ever go on. Man, you get some serious whip on that. Snaptastic. All ready? Roll it down. This one's the Fascinator. It's the winner's choice. Keep your coupons or spin the wheel. Numbers on our wheel range from 7 to 20, or you can receive a silver cover all token. It's up to the winner this time. So this right here is a game called Fascination. And this is a staple here at Knobles, and it's honestly one of my favorite things here. One of the best types of games ever. It's basically like uh, bingo. And how do we play, Garrett? Roll them and control them, light them and win. Welcome to the Haunted Mansion. Let's give this a ride. Remember, Just rode the flying trapeze behind me. This is a ride, at least when I'm here, never seems to be open. I actually gave it a ride right now. That was a very weird wave swinger. The seats would actually swing sideways uh, and it would go back and forth. It was really bizarre, but it was actually a lot of fun. Had some good views, a lot of kinetic energy here in the park. I actually liked it.
Impulse Garrett. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I think it's okay, but not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's not the worst thing. It's something you do once in a while, but I, I wouldn't say it's like a must do here. I think this is my first time on it in five plus years, so that should tell you everything. Why would I want to ride that when there's the Phoenix to ride? Yeah. I will say though, since uh, this first open, I feel like it has gotten a little smoother, although there is still a little bit of a vibration. But it's still a decent ride, not too bad. Just got off of the power surge. This is another ride that's very temperamental and isn't open too often. And uh, I don't know if this is a controversial opinion or not, but I loved that ride. That ride was so much fun. It felt really insane. Oh man, now I did hear a rumor that they're actually going to uh, remove this, uh, but they may replace it with a new model, but we will see. Uh, whatever they do um if you want to get out here and ride this see if you can pretty soon because i think it's really awesome you want the power search spinning Right behind the Merry Mixer is where they will be putting in the Ban Curve, which should hopefully be open by next year. Back there, they've already poured some foundation down for the ride plot. And more significantly, there are two ride vehicles right here. If you're familiar with the Ban Curve at Kennywood, you know how big of a deal this is. Speechless, huh? Speechless and not a fun way. 
For me, I thought Twister was actually running really great. I really love this ride. It's like the king of laterals. Whew, it's a good one. Last ride of the night on the bumper cars. We just witnessed a bumper car lose its bumper. Yes, we it did. It was so violent. Yeah, and then the rubber part of my car was coming off too. This is gonna be good. Are you ready for bumper cars? I can't wait to drive home like this. going to do that here at Knobles. Had a great day here as always. You know, the more often you come here and you know how this place is operated and embedded in tradition this place is, it just gets better and better. It really is the best traditional amusement park I think I've ever been to. The attractions are great, the staff is great, there's always a story to tell, you're always making memories here. It's just so in deep into old-fashioned traditional family fun. I feel like some other amusement parks may have lost over the years, but this is a gem of a park that is stuck in time and I cannot wait to return. I came, I saw, and now we leave. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, thank you all for riding and I'll see you next time.